So in the previous video, we have seen uh, so what the binary uh, heap is, and we have also shown that uh, the height of the uh, binary heap can be at most uh, log of n. In this video, we will pay attention to two main operations that we are going to do on the binary heap, namely add and delete minimum. So in order to do uh, add and delete minimum, so we will do uh, two more operations. Uh, uh, namely uh, the top down ep5 function and also uh, bottom up ep5 function uh, let's look at uh, these operations on the binary heap which uh, will take order log n time so let's consider this heap and uh, let's try to insert uh, 16 so if i have to uh, insert a number uh, so we have to ensure that uh, two things happens uh, uh, the heap after i insert 16 uh, has to be a complete binary tree and uh, the second property is that uh, the heap property should be true right so the first one is easy to uh, uh, satisfy because uh, if i had to ensure that uh, uh, it has to be a complete binary tree i can just make it as a left child of uh, 24 uh, 29 so uh, so what we do is that we just uh, 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 create a node and add uh, 16 there and that's what we wanted to see that's at the on the level order traverse index of that will be 9 so we will increment uh, the n which is the number of nodes is uh, becomes 10 now at uh, uh, 9 we will go into store 16 so we have added 16 into the complete binary tree now so the truck structure of this tree is maintained but what we need to also worry about whether the heap property is uh, satisfied at every node so clearly we can see that uh, in the parent pointer the node that uh, the number that we have is greater than uh, 16 so there's a violation of uh, yeah the uh, the heap property at 29 because we expect this node to have a smaller value than its children so what we do is that we start with uh, 16 we go to the uh, parent of it check the, that it has a bigger value if i see a bigger value then then these two numbers will be exchanged we are going to exchange 16 with 29 and then go to the parent uh, 20 uh, this uh, the point uh, the node uh, whose pointer is 4 then ask the same question right so so what we do so we uh, since 16 is smaller than 29 so what we do is that we exchange uh, 16 and 29 right so when I exchange 16 and 29 this is what happens and the corresponding change also needs to be done in the array that we have so what I show here in the uh, tree which is pictorially it's only an implicit representation uh, so this is not uh, what happens when you uh, write the code so when you write the code what is there is that uh, the locations at uh, 4 and the number at uh, you know, 9 right so that so there was earlier there was 16 at 9 and there was uh, 29 at uh, 4 these two uh, the numbers have been exchanged now I go to 16 I compare the value of this with the parent since the parent has a bigger number I again exchange right so the 26 is the uh, parent of 4 is uh, 1 so the number that is there it is 1 is 26 so 26 is greater than 16 so we exchange uh, 16 and 26 so the corresponding changes is actually made in the uh, uh, array so now when you go to the 16 16 is the parent is uh, uh, 5 so there is no violation of uh, uh, the heap property so our algorithm stops so uh, this is called uh, we call it as uh, bottom up if you find so when you add a node you add it at the end so right um, in terms of our indexing add it at the uh, f h of n and then increment your uh, uh, n by 1 and then uh, so what we basically need to do is call the bottom up if you find so bottom up if you find given an index i what it does is that it tries to go to the parent and check whether the parent has a value which is uh, smaller than this if the parent has a value which is greater than the value of this then the heap property is violated at this uh, in the at the parent node so what we do is that we change exchange the values of afi and the uh, value that is there at the parent node and uh, so when uh, this uh, as long as this property is satisfied violated we keep exchanging and keep going to the uh, parent node the moment i go to a node where the parent node has a value uh, which is smaller than the value of the children the heap property is satisfied at every node and uh, we stop uh, the algorithm 
so what we basically do is that uh, so you added the nth location so this is add function if you are given a uh, heap uh, you want to insert x and the number of nodes here is n so what we do is that we write it at the um, we insert this at the nth place and uh, remember that n is the number of nodes in the binary heap which has been increased by one now we call this uh, bottom of p55 right so what it does is that it gives you the heap and also gives you a node from where you have to do the bottom of p55 now we need to understand what is the bottom of p55 does bottom of p55 gives you the heap and an index from where we have to apply the bottom of p55 first you go to the parent pointer the pointer if i is the node parent of that is given by i minus 1 by 2 so if uh, the value of the parent pointer is actually greater than the value of the node then the heap property is violated so what we do is that we exchange uh, the nodes which are there at uh, uh, ith node and the uh, its parent right so once we exchange this then i go to the uh, i becomes the parent i want to recursively go to the parent of it so i becomes p and uh, the parent of uh, the present node is again given by uh, this, this formula which is i minus 1 by 2 so if uh, i reach the uh, so i continue if i reach a node uh, which is uh, the root node then uh, my p will get a minus 1 uh, uh, as this thing so in that case i terminate otherwise if this condition is not satisfied so if i reach any node such that the heap property is not violated then immediately i want to come out of this value uh, that's where my bottom of p55 algorithm actually terminates so if this condition is not true if the heap um, property is uh, satisfied at the parent of the uh, the present node that i'm considering which is high uh, then uh, high side p is equal to minus one and we are out of this while loop that terminates the uh, bottom of uh, uh, heap if i algorithm since the heights every time i'm going to the parent uh, so the inverse case uh, the number of um, uh, times this while loop will run uh, is uh, at most the height of the um, height of the uh, tree because uh, every time when you go to the parent uh, the uh, height of the parent will increase by one so the maximum number of times this uh, loop runs so it will be exactly equal to uh, the height of the tree which we know that it at most uh, order log of n so since the bottom of p55 uh, algorithm runs in order log n then when you want to add you have to just insert this number and call this bottom of p55 which is in order n so the insert operation actually happens in order log n time so now let's uh, focus on uh, deleting the minimum so the minimum uh, so if you want to just know the minimum uh, since because the minimum heap uh, the node which is there at h of 0 so the that is the minimum value so phi is the minimum among all the numbers uh, in this right so now if you want to delete the minimum right so you have to basically delete that uh, delete the root node so when you want to delete the root node, um, so again we had to worry about uh, the structure of the tree first and then uh, we worry about the heap property. In order to maintain the complete uh, binary tree, uh, complete binary tree property, so what we can do is that we can just look at the last node, remove this node and make it as the root of the uh, uh, root of the complete binary tree. So in other words, in, Im in implementation, what we are going to do is that we are going to you exchange uh, 5 and uh, 29 so the fifth one is one at the end and uh, so we will decrement the the number of nodes uh, by one so we will not go to the last element the deleted node will be at the end right so it is at the nth location because if there are n nodes uh, and we are going to decrease the n value so except for the last node uh, so whatever rest of the elements that you have is going to uh, what is going to be there in the uh, heap so we exchange uh, so uh, we are going to be basically in the picture i'm going to replace uh, uh, this 29 by 5 right so 29 goes off uh, uh, 5 goes off from the diagram and 29 becomes the root and 5 is stored at the ninth location i will decrement the number of nodes in the tree by one so what i have to stop is at the eight because the number of nodes whatever is written in the ninth onwards doesn't matter but if you want to access immediately what is the node that's going to be that was deleted then you know that the next node that you have uh, that is uh, yeah h of n right now is the one that was deleted earlier okay 
Uh, so the right now the uh, heap is from 0 to 8 so the root is at uh, uh, 29 is at the root so now we have to worry about the uh, whether this uh, heap satisfies the heap property so the heap property is violated at 29 because uh, 29 is greater than 16 right so 29 is smaller than 43 so this side there is no problem but in this side uh, there is a problem See, when we did uh, bottom of P55, we always compared with the uh, parent node. So now we are going to call what is known as the top down EP5 function. When I do the top down EP5 function, every node is compared with the value of the two children. If the value of uh, the two children, if uh, both of them have a bigger value, uh, then uh, we exit out of the uh, top down EP5 function. But if uh, one of them has a value which is smaller than this, then I will take the minimum of uh, these two values. We take the minimum of these two values and uh, minimum of in this example is uh, 16 and 43. 16 happens to be the minimum. So we exchange uh, 16 and 29, right? I repeat in the case of bottom of EP5, you always compared with the parent. Every node had only one parent. In the top down EP5, we had to compare the node with the value of the children. And there are two children. So I, I exchange it, I compare it with the node uh, which is the uh, among the left child and right child whichever node has the smaller value if that particular value is greater than smaller than the value of this node i exchange these two since i am exchanging this is the smaller of these two nodes right so the the other node right which was not exchanged will always have a greater value than uh, 16 right so when 16 comes up uh, you don't have to worry about the other uh, subtree because the node there is already has a value which is bigger than uh, so what comes to the root so I, I exchange 16 with uh, 29 so I have now I come to this node where the exchange has been done so now I pick the uh, smaller of these two children 32 and 26 the smaller is 26 26 is smaller than 29 so what we do is that uh, uh, we exchange these two nodes right so when you exchange these two nodes it becomes 26 and this becomes 29 so now I come to 29, I see that it doesn't have any children, so the heap property is satisfied at 29, so our algorithm stops. When uh, So our the top down EP5 will stop either or the case when you have reached the leaf node, or both the children um, will have a value which is greater than the uh, present node. So bo if both the values uh, have a greater value, then the minimum of the, these two values also will have a value which is greater than the value of this node. So yeah, that is the termination condition for the uh, minimum, uh, so the top down EP5 function. So in summary, what we are doing is that uh, in the delete min, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is that uh, um, the number of nodes in the heap will decrease by one. Then uh, we will exchange uh, what is there at the uh, uh, 0th node and the nth node, right? So uh, what is there at the head of node will come back to zero and uh, so what is there at zeroth node will go to the last node but the, our heap will have only the numbers from between uh, indexing so we'll only store the numbers between zero and n minus one so we will not really worry about what is there in h of n but we are just storing the number that we are deleting in h of n in case you want to know what was deleted earlier so you will see that it will be there in h of n but the heap elements are indexed from zero to n minus one after that starting with the root node uh, so that is the root node will always have an index zero we call the top down hp5 function let's look at what does the top down hp5 function does uh, top down hp5 is considered uh, at uh, the ith node so we look at uh, so whether it has a valid right child right so if it has a valid right child the one of the test is that the, the pointer to the right child is given by 2i plus uh, 2 so the heap has a indexing from 0 to n minus 1. So if the right child has a valid pointer, then 2i plus uh, 2 should be smaller than uh, n. So if a node has a right child, uh, because it's a complete binary tree, uh, it should also have a left child. So, uh, so we have a parameter called child, so which will keep track of the, among the two, uh, uh, two children uh, that the node has, whichever child has a smaller value. So right, that is what is will be stored in C. If, uh, so the value at the left child, left child is given by, pointed to the left child is given by 2i plus one. The value of the left child is smaller than the value of the right child, then C 
it will be 2i plus 1 else it will be 2i plus 2 so at the end of this uh, if condition the node with the smaller values will be stored at c if um, remember that i is the node and c is the child of it if the node value is greater than the uh, the value uh, of the children uh, value of this particular child then at this point of time the heap property is violated so the heap property is violated what we do is that we exchange what is there at uh, i and the uh, c uh, so h of i is set as uh, h of c and h of c is set as uh, the temporary variable which is uh, our h of i after that we uh, in the next iteration i becomes c and then we go to the uh, the next iteration right so we go to the child and repeat this if this condition is violated it's not violated that means that at, uh, at the node i the he property is satisfied then uh, so we can just set i is equal to n when the algorithm comes to the next iteration so this condition will be uh, false so we will be end of the uh, top down ep5 algorithm so we have to worry about one corner case where uh, as long as uh, so we, you know the right uh, the node has a right child then this will run but the node may not have a right child but uh, it can have a left child right it has only one child that is the left child uh, so in that case we have to worry about uh, this so after this condition you just check whether uh, it has uh, the left child value uh, is smaller than the value of this node right so this condition will ensure that uh, this is a valid left child c is equal to 2i plus 1 this is the pointer to the left child if it's a valid node in the uh, heap and uh, if the h of i value is greater than the left child value then you exchange these two nodes right so this is what you do uh, after you come out of the uh, this while loop this while loop will run as long as uh, the node has a valid right child but uh, so this condition ensures that if at the end uh, if the node doesn't have a right child but it just has a left child and uh, the left child value is smaller than the value of this node uh, you exchange these two things so since at any point of time every time when you go to a node uh, the level of the node actually increases by one you start at the root node next level next time when you come to the you either go to the left child or right child so the value of the, the level of the node will certainly increase by one every time when you go inside the loop so the number of times this while loop can run is at most equal to the height of the tree which is order log n so the top down hippy phi will take at most uh, order log n time so if you start with the uh, delete min operation you exchange the uh, root node with the last node and then call top down hippy phi and we know that the top down hippy phi will only take order log n time so the total complexity of uh, delete main is uh, theta of log of n so we have considered uh, the top down ep5 function and the bottom of ep5 function uh, let's use this uh, top down ep5 function and um, bottom of ep5 ep5 uh, function which both works in order log n time uh, on the heap uh, to construct uh, two more uh, operations on the binary heap uh, the namely uh, the no, the increase key and uh, decrease key uh, let's just uh, quickly look at uh, so what happens in the case of increase key and delete key uh, decrease key in the case of uh, increase key i give you the pointer to a node uh, so in our example it's going to be an index and i want to increase the value of that particular uh, node the priority of this node uh, to x i give an x which is more than what is there at uh, h of i i want to increase the value of that to x Similarly, when I give you x, um, which is uh, smaller than uh, the h of uh, h of i, then we want to decrease the the value of uh, h of i to x, right? So how can this be done? Uh, is what you're going to see in this video. Now. So in the decrease key function, so what you're given is a uh, heap, and you're given an index. Uh, so the h of i has a value greater than x, so we want to decrease the value of h of i to x so what you do is that you first set the h of i is equal to x so what you should remember is that uh, so there is a node high here so this value at this node has been reduced this particular node has a value which is smaller than or equal to the um, the value at the uh, of the children so that means that uh, before we did this operation uh, the he property was uh, satisfied so we want to show that uh, we want to ensure that even after uh, the 
decrease key operation is performed the heap property will continue to be true so we don't have to so worry about the structure of the tree because the structure of the tree is not changing here but we have to worry about the uh, the heap property so when you decrease this value the value went down so if the value of this node was smaller than the children it will continue to be smaller than the value of the children after we decrease but what may happen is that the uh, so the this the parent node had a value which is smaller than this before we decrease the value of this but because of the decrease in the value of this the heap property may be violated at the uh, the parent node so in this case what we do is that we call the bottom of if5 function so what does the bottom of if5 function it goes to the parent node and checks whether that has a value which is bigger than this if that is the case then uh, it will exchange this and continue so the decrease key function is uh, just set the value of h of i is equal to x and then call the bottom of if5 function and we know that the bottom of if5 function at most takes order log n time so the decrease key can be implemented in order log n time so now let's pay our attention to increase key h of i value has a value which is smaller than x we want to increase this to x so what we do is that we set the h of i values to be x as done before so there may not there may, there will not be a heap uh, violation of heap, uh, heap property compared to its parent so because this node had a value which is smaller than the parent but now the value of this node has increased if the value of this is increased the parent will continue to have a smaller value but what may happen is that after we decrease uh, after we increase the value the heap property may be violated this may not have a smaller value than the children so in this case what we do is that you call the top down ep5 function starting at this location so uh, so we as we know that the top down ep5 is also going to take order log n time so this implies that uh, increase key function can be implemented in order log n time so in this video we mainly define top down ep5 and bottom up ep5 functions uh, uh, which can be implemented in uh, order log n time so using these two main functions we could implement uh, add delete minimum and uh, increase key and decrease key on a binary heap in order log n time we'll come back to the more operations on binary heap uh, in the next uh, video